guys so today's video is going to be an updated bookshelf tour I filmed one last year when I was just starting out on YouTube but my shelves have changed I just had this one shelf last year when I filmed it and now I have a shelf right here and one across from me so that's what today's video is going to be about so let's just jump into it so the first few books on my shelf is the selection series by Kira Cass the first book is the selection then the elite the one happily ever after which is a compilation to the selection series which is a few novellas then we have the air and the last book in the selection series the crown the last Kira Cass book that I have on the shelf is the siren I highly recommend this one it is amazing and this bookmark, it is a little metal bookmark with a mermaid tail, is by My Bookmark, I believe the company is called. I'll leave a link to that shop down below. They have Etsy. They're awesome. I love that bookmark so much. The next few books on that shelf is the Lunar Chronicle series by Marissa Meyer. The first book is Cinder, then Scarlet, Cress, Winter, and Stars Above, which is a collection of novellas that is after the last book of the series called Winter. The next book is Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After, all by Stephanie Perkins. So the first three books on this shelf are from the Winner's Curse trilogy. The first one is The Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, and The Winner's Kiss, all by Marie Ratowski. Then we have To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and P.S. I Still Love You, both by Jenny Han. Then we have Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, Since You've Been Gone, and The Unexpected Everything, all by Morgan Matson. Next we have Broken Heart Fences and Other Things to Mend, Revenge Ice Cream, and other things best serves coal and heart fingers and other things to cross all by Katie Finn. For those of you who do not know, Morgan Matson and Katie Finn are the same person. She just has two pin names. Then we have Fangirl by Rainbow Rawl. This is the exclusive collector's edition. It has a beautiful built-in bookmark. That is my favorite part of this whole book, besides the actual story. Then we have Carry On, Eleanor and Park, a signed copy, also an exclusive collector's edition, and Landline, all by Rainbow Rawl. Before I clear off my shelf, it normally houses my stamp, which every time I buy a new book, I stamp it, and it says, from the library of Lauren in it. It also holds a, this fingernail polish, which if you can tell, I haven't read, okay. You can see, you may, no, you can't see that. You can kind of see the little shimmering on the top of these books. I mark them after I finish reading them because I won't lie, it's hard for me to remember which books I read sometimes. So I came up with this system and I like it a lot. The first book on that shelf is Saving Juliet by Suzanne Selfers. Every Day by David Le Levithan. Even If the Sky Falls by, Mo by Mia Garcia. Between the Lines by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. Off the Page also by Jodi Van Colt and Samantha Van Leer. I have the first book in the Red Queen's Trilogy, which is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I have the first book of Six and Crows by Leah Bardugo, The Martian by Andy Weir, also a signed copy, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Suzanne Collins, Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and Four, which is a divergent collection of novellas from Four's point of view, and all the books are by Veronica Roth. So I like to call this my YouTuber shelf because pretty much every single book on here was written by a YouTuber or someone famous. So the first book on this shelf is This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle, Looking for Alaska, The Fault in Our Stars, Paper Town, a rare edition that is missing the complete ending of the book, thanks Amazon, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and An Abundance of Catherines, all written by John Green, Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle, Beneath the Glitter, a novel by Ellen Blair Fowler, Girl Online, and Girl Online on Tour by Zoe Sugg, I, Justine, an analog memoir by Justine Exeric, We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sunquist, a signed copy that I bought from Amazon and did not know it was signed until it was at my house, a work in Progress by Connor Franta. All I Know Now by the awesome Carrie Hope Fletcher. Taking the Lead, Lessons from a Life in Motion by the beautiful Derek Huff. Struck by Lightning by Chris Colfer. You Deserve a Drink by Marie Hart. My Drunk Kitchen, A Guide to Eating, Drinking, and Going Out and Going with Your Gut by Hannah Hart. Self Health by Miranda Sings. And the best book on this shelf, Dare to Dream, Life Has One Direction. And then we have Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is an edition that I am doing with friends for the Traveling Book Project. As you you can see hopefully let's see um as you can see people my friend Christine has written in it you can see like little marks that she has made look here's some so this is like just a copy that I can write in whenever I want see Christine she, she started the book on 3 3 16 she finished it on 5 23 16 and she said I took a break y'all <laughs> she took a break to finish school I understand 
but yeah that's what this copy is so so the first book on that shelf is the hunger games by susan collins the first few books on this shelf are ones that i have duplicates of that i would more likely lend out to people in instead of my prettier and better copies then we have divergent by veronica roth the selection by kira cass the crown by kira cass this is the barnes and nobles edition so it has a deleted scene in the back of it my first and third copy of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is the first copy that I ever owned, but it is the third one that I have shown you in this video. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rotowski. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. The Duff by Cody Keplinger. LOL or Lying Out Loud by Cody Keplinger. We All Looked Up by Tommy Walsh. 99 Days by Katie Kutunga. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Life Goes On Until It Doesn't. Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider. The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith, When We Collided by Emery Lord, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Jenniman Alsayer, Alsay, Alsay, I'm sorry Benjamin, Shopaholic Ties the Knot, Twenties Girl, and Many Shopaholic All by Sophie Kinsella, Wake by Lisa McMahon, which is apparently a trilogy but I only own the first book, If I Stay by Gail Foreman, Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour, Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding, A Window Opens by Elizabeth Egan, which is my only advanced readers edition that I own which actually wasn't even sent to me my mom got it from a library giveaway event the Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz before Tomorrowland by Jeff Jensen Jonathan Case, Brad Bird, and Damon Lindloff, Cinderella, and two copies of Peter Pan. One, a children's classic edition, and another Penguin Puffins classic editions, I believe. I got this one from Book Outlet, and I love it. It's so, 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 so pretty. My favorite book that I own because I love Peter Pan. Okay, so this shelf is currently kind of a mess because these books right here are all the books that I had to read for summer reading during middle school through high school. Um, I plan on putting these on another shelf shelf one day. I honestly don't have room on this shelf anymore for them, so I have plans to put them somewhere else, but this is their home for now until I get that other shelf. So the first book on this shelf is hefty. It is huge because it is three books in one, and that is The Summer I Turned Pretty tr Trilogy by Jenny Han, which includes The Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer. I have yet to read these but I've heard they're really good. I bought this big boy from Walmart, and yeah, whenever I decide to pick this up, I'm gonna be so intimidated, I'm not gonna wanna finish it. But who knows, maybe I'll finish it one day. The next book is 13 Little Blue Envelopes, and The Last Blue Envelope by Maureen Johnson. Then we have The Secrets of My Hollywood Life, on location, The Secrets of My Hollywood Life, Family Affairs, Secrets of My Hollywood Life, and Paparazzi Princess, Secrets of My Hollywood Life, all by Jen Caltonia. Then we have Winter Town by Steven Imad, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, The Giver by Lois Lowry, Book 7 of the Georgia Nicholson series, The Confessions of Georgia Nicholson series. This one is Startled by His Furry Short. Here's Book 10 in the Confessions of Georgia Nicholson series. Are these my bazoomers I see before me? By Louise Renison, Goddess Boot Camp, and Oh My Gods by Tara Lynn Child, My Life in Pink and Green, The Summer of Pink and Green by Lisa Greenwald, The Juliet Club by Susan. Suzanne Harper, The Romeo and Juliet Code by Phoebe Stone, The Time Traveling Fast Fashionista on Board the Titanic by Bianca Cherniski, The Algebra Biscotti Collection by Olivia Bennett, It's Raining Cupcakes by Lisa Schrover, Schroeder, The Cupcake Queen by Heather Helper, Smile by Raina Talgemer, which is my only comic book type book that I own. I bought this book because I had braces in eighth grade. Yes, I related. The only book of poems that I own, which is Love and Misadventure by Lang Lee. Are You There God? It's Me Margaret by Judy Bloom. Judy Moody was not in a mood, not a good mood, a bad mood by Megan McDonald. Tiger Eye by Judy Bloom. Between a Heart and a Rock Place. A memoir by, by Pat Benatar with Patsy Bailcock. Then we have my really embarrassing Disney childhood. Let's get into it. First off, we have Mad for Miley, an unauthorized biography by Lauren Alexander. Ooh, Mad for Miley. Yeah. Then we have these in no particular order. This is Hannah Montana, Face the Music, Hannah Montana, Seeing Green, Hannah Montana, Nightmare on Hannah Street, Hannah Montana, Hold on Tight, Hannah Montana, Truth or Dare, Hannah Montana, Super Sneak, and the last Hannah book, Hannah Montana, Face Off. Then we have High School Musical, Stories from East High, number six, Heart to Heart. Then we have the book of High School Musical 2, The Junior Now, based on the hit Disney Channel original movie. Then we have Lizzie McGuire, New Kid in School, Lizzie McGuire, Totally Crushed, Rescue Me, 
That's a Raven, College Road Trip, and my last Disney Channel book, Jump In, the Junior Novel. Then we have my Nickelodeon series, which is Zoe 101, Beach Party, Zoe 101, Pranks for Nothing, Ned's Declassified, School Survival Guide, Book of the Top 10 List. Then we have Miscellaneous, Bratz, Good Luck Charms, Aquamarine by Alice Hoffman, and Just My Luck. So now we move on to my school books. This is No Fear Shakespeare, Julius Caesar, The Five People When You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album. I don't know where my dust jacket went, but it's the five people you meet in heaven, which is really good. Tuesdays with Maury. An Old Man, A Young Man, and Life's Greatest Lessons by Mitch Album. The 17 Second Miracle by Jason F. Wright. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Call It Courage by Armstrong Sperry. The Amazing The City of Ember by Janine. By Janine or Jean Dubrugo. Du Dupra. Runaway Ralph by Beverly Cleary. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. This is not a school book that I had to read. This is a book that we used to read during school and I bought it for nostalgia stakes when I was younger. I was not nostalgic when I was younger. Weird. The worst, oh no, the best Christmas pageant ever by Barbara Robinson. Ragweed by Avi. Miracles on Maple Street by Virginia Sorson. And Johnny Tremaine, A Story of Boston in Revolt by Esther Forbes. Then we have Dance of the Red Death. A sequel to Mask of the Red Death by Bethany Griffin. Mask of the Red Death by Bethany Griffin. Fences by August Wilson. Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. Murder in the Cathedral by T.S. Eliot. The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. Who Moves My Cheese by Spencer Johnson, M.D. The Mousetrap and Other Plays by Agatha Christie. And The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. Look at this chunka. This one is a big guy. So on the last shelf, it's kind of just a very miscellaneous shelf. I'll just go over everything whenever I get there. First book is the Charm Bracelet, the Fairy Realm series. This is book one. And I have book two, the Flower Fairies, also the Fairy Realm series by Emily Rodia. The next book is Fantasy Stories for Girls. It is three complete novels in one book. The three novels are Unicorns of Balinor, the Princess School and the Rihanna Chronicles. Next we have Princess Academy by Shannon Hale. Then we have Just Ella by Margaret Peterson Haddock. Then The Princess Diaries, Sixational. This might be the sixth book in the Princess Diary series by Megan Cabot, Cabot, by Megan Cabot. Then we have The Girls of Lighthouses Lane, Elizabeth Dory by Erica Tamar. Then we have Because of Win Dixie, there was never a town in greater need of a change or a dog in greater need of a town by Katie de Camelo. Then we have Brave Emily, an American Girl Story. Then we have Trickster by Laurie Housen Anderson, another American Girl book. Then we have Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Then the last book that I keep, you'll understand why I said that later, is Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. The next book is just a little type like fill-in journal type of book. It's a Lizzie McGuire Life According to Lizzie. I've had this forever. It's really old, really loved. As you can see, the heart that belongs in here fell off because there's no more string attached. Then we have just a little Girl Scouts journal from when I was a Girl Scout. I've never really written in this, so there's nothing in it to tell. This is another book on the shelf that I will be keeping forever. This is Do Princesses Wear Hiking Boots by Carmelia Lovginia Le Hoyle. This is a book that my dad brought back from one of his hikes to the Grand Canyon. This bind up right here is just my advising handbook from college this past semester, so I won't even bother taking that out because it's very boring and pointless. The next few books right here are books that I would give away if I had the opportunity to or to put them in a little free library. I really want to have a little free library of my own and those are books that I would put in it because I don't ever see myself really reading. The first one is My Heart May Be Broken But My Hair Still Looks Great by Dixie Cash. Dream New Dreams by Jay Posh. The Secret Life of Prince Charming by Deb Cal Caletti. Luna by Julie Ann Peters. The List by Sebahan Vivian. I don't know how to pronounce that fast. The first name, I apologize. The Rosie Project by Grameen Simpson. And the last actual reading book on here is Speechless by Hannah Harrington. So this red binder right here is just a bunch of recipes that I had from a cooking class that I went to. This is just my textbook from college this past semester. This is a book of photography pictures. This is more recipes. And then I have three recipe books that I have shown y'all countless amount of times on here. First one is No Baloney on My Boat, Who's Your Mama, Are You Catholic, and Can You Make a Roux, book one, and book two, all by my chef 
from this past semester, Marcel Bienvenu. So that was my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below. Let me know if you have any of the books that I have. Let me know what your favorite book is, what your least favorite book is. Let me just know everything down below about books. I just, I love hearing what you guys have to say. So yeah, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and like this video if you liked my bookshelf. I'll see you guys later. Bye. There's this weird light right here. Haha! -ha. I filmed this before I actually filmed the meat of the video. Oh!